Hello. So we talked about handler in the previous session and uh, in one of our previous sessions. So what we had to do for that is we had to create our own type. We had to make it implement our handler interface. Okay, and then we had to use uh, a variable of that particular type as a handler here. Okay. Now this was our method, but if you have an individual function that can also be used for the same purpose. Okay. So let me let me do something here. So let me just remove, let me get rid of this type. Uh, and let me get rid of this variable as well. Okay. Now because we already removed the type, this particular identifier doesn't make any sense here. And just for the sake of demonstration, let me name it something else. Let me just name it my func. Okay. And let me save it. Now my build is failing and that is fine. But there's something else I'm going to do here. And that is, uh, let me do HTTP handler func. Okay. HTTP handler func is the name of, uh, sorry, it has to be handler func. Okay. Sorry. Uh, let me do it again. So HTTP handler func. Okay. And it's a function and all I have to do is I have to pass it the name of my function that has the same signature as the sir HTTP. So this handler fun kind of acts like an adapter. Okay. So it's, it's kind of an adapter that accepts a function that has the same signature as the method in the handler. So it's also got the response writer and the pointer to the request, right? And just having this is enough. And this is like an alternative way of implementing the same thing, except that we don't have to make use of the types. Okay. So now my code is compiled. If I come back here, it's working as expected. I can remove this part, save it. It's getting built. And if I come back here, it's reflected. So this was uh, an introduction to handler func. So we already talked about handler, which is an interface. And it's got one method in it that we need to implement that is server HTTP. But you have to have a type that will actually have, that will implement this handler. You have to have your custom type or you can use some of the types that are provided by the HTTP package itself. In most cases, you would want to create your own type. Okay. But uh, as an easier way or as an alternative way, you can also use a, use an independent function that has the same signature as this. And you can use HTTP handler func method and pass it just the name of the function. You don't have to actually execute it. You just have to pass the name of the function and that's going to give you the same result. Implementation like this could be handy if you got something really small to get done and so that you don't have to really bother with defining the types. Uh, but uh, usually you would want to use the handler eventually. But this is also something so that you know that this is one of the ways to get it done, right? So that was all for today. Handler func and we'll talk about, uh, we'll talk more about the handler and multiplexer in our next session. Till then, goodbye.